so what's the solution go there be changed worship the Holy Ghost let him show you things to come let him reveal that image to you so you can be changed into it Jeremiah chapter 9 verse 23 thus saith the Lord let not the wise man glory in his wisdom neither let the mighty man glory in his might let not the rich man glory in his riches but say but but let him that glories glory in this that he understands and knows me well in our day and age we know that the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today at least you should know that by now the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words so if we're going to look at this verse of scripture that says verse 24 let him that glories glory in this that he understands say understands, understands. and knows say knows, knows. Me. me who are we trying to understand and know the Holy, the Holy Ghost so there must be glory in understanding and knowing the Holy Ghost are you here so I speak from a room of Holy Ghost worship you might say well what does that mean a room of Holy Ghost worship meaning I worship the Holy Ghost a person that does that has a different viewpoint than someone who doesn't do that we're gonna get into a lot of that today mm -hmm. you understand but I'm speaking from that room so my viewpoint comes from well like you know if you had a room here and you looked out the window you would see a different view wouldn't you then if somebody else was in a different room they're looking out a different window you understand so my view of things is a little bit different than other people's view you go oh that's for sure well it is for sure I've been in several other rooms and this one has the best view you ever do that you ever go into a house and you look around and you go oh this one has the best view mm -hmm. now in our day and age we really don't have a choice if you ask me we're in the dispensation of the Holy Ghost we should be in that room that's right. and looking out that window because if we're correctly in the right dispensation our view will be completely different say completely different, completely different. than what other people's view is mm -hmm. and I'm telling you my worldview is completely different than what it used to be when I get up in the morning I wake up in the morning with the Holy Ghost and walk with him as the only part of the Godhead in the earth today I didn't used to do that anyway so I speak from this room of Holy Ghost worship and when you might say well the room of Holy Ghost how do you get in there you use the words I worship you Holy Ghost because you say Holy Ghost worship and everybody has this idea of what they think that means and you say you say Holy Ghost worship to ten different people they'll all have they'll have ten different ideas of what that means well I'm gonna specifically tell you it means that you use the words I worship you Holy Ghost you are actually worshiping the Living God the Holy Ghost who's in the earth today yes. and when you do that you enter into this space or this room mm -hmm. does this make sense mm -hmm. so that's the room I'm speaking to you from and you're able to, if you go into this room or you begin worshiping say begin worshiping begin, begin, worshiping. begin worshiping the Holy Ghost as God he will begin to reveal to you things and you'll be able to know things say no things, no things. that other people that don't go in there won't know or won't understand are you here mm -hmm. so you'll be able to know things that are not available to people they're not available to people who don't worship him I've been down this trail a hundred times I know things now from worshiping the Holy Ghost that I had no idea of before Holy Ghost worship we're gonna talk about this a little bit later takes a veil away you know what a veil is right a veil if you have a veil over something it's kind of hiding whatever's behind the veil you put a veil over something you didn't want people to see right. right and if you take it away you're able to see things say see things see things. see things that you couldn't see before so Holy Ghost worship or worshiping the Holy Ghost using the words I worship you Holy Ghost worshiping the Holy Ghost who is the Living God in the earth today takes a veil away and you're able to see things that you weren't able to see before and he changes you this is actually what we're gonna be talking about today when you worship him you're seeing things that he reveals to you and he changes you say changes me, changes me. he rewires you say rewires me. rewires me into this dispensation 
because you've been all wired weirdly into old dispensations you need to be fully wired into this dispensation and the way to do that is to worship him who is God in this dispensation right yes. fully present here here and now who's God in the earth today here and now the Holy Ghost. So if I worship him, he begins to rewire me so I'm fully present in this dispensation, which is a big change for me, and I have to be fully changed. I'm not running a nursery here. If you're easily offended, you're not going to make it. I've had people, many people, come and go. Somehow it got it was something I said offended them. Isn't that amazing? But I'm not going to not say things because I might offend your sensitivity because I'm not running a nursery here. People need to grow up. Say, grow up. Grow up. So if you're easily offended, you aren't going to make it because you must change. I must change. And we're talking about entering into a room where you must change. Mm hmm. hmm. Okay. You ready for this? Hebrews chapter 5 verse 11 of whom we have many things to say and hard to be uttered seeing you are dull of hearing sounds like Paul was saying the same thing for when the time you ought to be teachers you have need that one teach you again say again, again. what's again mean again. again right it means he'd already taught them this now he's got to teach them it again because they just backslid the time you ought to be teachers you have need that one teach you again which be the first principles say first principles, first principles. I mean the first principles of the oracles of God and are become as such as one has need of milk and not of strong meat for everyone that uses milk is unskillful in the word of righteousness for he is a baby I know it says babe but baby's more effective stop being a baby verse 14 but strong milk strong meat belongs to them that are of full age even those who by reason of use have their senses exercised to discern or know the difference between good and evil Hebrews chapter 6 verse 1 yes. therefore leaving the principles of the doctrine of Christ let us go on yes. unto perfection some some translations say maturity not laying again the foundation of repentance from dead works and the faith towards God now if we're gonna go on not laying again the foundation it means we should not have to go over the foundation over and over and over you're not gonna build the rest of the building right. not laying again the foundation of repentance from dead works repent already get it over with mm -hmm. faith towards God doctrine of baptisms laying on of hands resurrection of the dead and of eternal judgment and this we will do if God permit this we will do what go on yes. and I present to you that we're going on are you here yes. we are going on this we will do say we. we now the we we are the people that are going on people that are not that have don't have to keep laying the foundation again we've established that we know where we stand now we're gonna go on mm -hmm. for it is impossible for those who once enlightened tasted the heavenly gift made partakers of the Holy Ghost tasted the good word of God and the powers of the world to come notice none of those things were listed in the first principles yeah, that's right. those are things that we build upon the first principles are you here yeah partakers of the Holy Ghost or partners with the Holy Ghost walking with the Holy Ghost knowing the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. glory in this that you understand and know him use of the words I worship you Holy Ghost is a confession it's a confession of having done that having done what having done lay the foundation we know how we got here how many times have I preached on that how'd you get here you got to know how you got here mm -hmm. if I'm gonna say I worship the Holy Ghost who's God in the earth today I've got I've got a whole bunch of stuff underneath my feet when I make the confession that I worship you Holy Ghost I'm literally confessing all the things that Jesus did mm -hmm. having left and sent the another having come to this place of knowing the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today you got a whole bunch of stuff behind you and underneath you we're taking up where others have left off yes. 
we're going on mm -hmm. having come to this place of knowing the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today it's not just a random set of words it took a long time to get there we believe something different we've come to this place we're on a foundation of the scriptures of all the truth that is there yet we are standing in a different place we have a different view we see things differently we think differently mm -hmm. are you here yes. is it off the foundation no it's on the foundation but we think differently we believe differently we are literally different believers than other people we're different believers because we believe something differently do you understand that yes. what would make somebody a different kind of believer they believe something different mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. I mean go back down to some of the regular things like you know healing are there people that don't believe in healing yeah. that's not for today there are people that don't believe in speaking in tongues that's not for today well you're a different kind of believer I believe in speaking in tongues I believe that God heals people today I believe God renews people's youth mm -hmm. yes. I'm more and more convinced that that's one of the main things he does to heal people mm -hmm. let's say somebody's got a sickness one of the best things I could do is just renew the time in them to before they had the sickness that's right Amen. are you here yes. so I'm a different kind of believer say I'm a different kind of believer, I'm a different kind of believer. you're a new believer you're somebody that believes something different mm -hmm. a different class of believer you're a different class you understand you believe something different than most people do go ahead and ask them I'm not making this up mm -hmm. a new class of believer that never existed before couldn't exist before because people weren't doing what you're doing if you're using the words I worship you Holy Ghost and you're worshiping the Holy Ghost as God in the earth today you are doing something that other people are not doing and it makes you a different kind of believer a different class of believer and you enter into a new category you're looked at differently by God you're looked at differently by the angels certain angels won't have anything to do with people who don't worship God in the earth you're a new believer you're fully rewired into this dispensation you live in a new reality it's a different reality it's a new reality it's a new belief system mm -hmm. the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and I walk with him mm -hmm. by saying words are you here yes that's a new belief system why would a new why would you have a new belief because I'm a new believer I believe something that other people don't believe they may give lip service to it like they do with most things mm -hmm. but they're not walking in it are you here yes. I can understand this would probably be a rough message for people who haven't heard these kind of things before but you know I told you I'm not running a nursery here this isn't kindergarten mm -hmm. from my testimony personally my believing has changed by worshiping the Holy Ghost on a daily basis it's changed these things are hard to explain to people who don't do it or don't worship the Holy Ghost you understand yes. hard to explain hard to be uttered so what's what's the solution do it <laughs> worship God worship God you should worship God who is God in the earth today who did Jesus send he sent the Holy Ghost is the Holy Ghost God yes worship him open your mouth and say I worship you Holy Ghost when you do that things will begin I'm telling you things will begin to open up to you and you'll begin to know him in a way that you couldn't know him before so use of the words I worship you Holy Ghost changes you it doesn't change him he was still God in the earth it changes you it changes the way you see things it changes the way you say things it changes you into his image of you say his image, of me. his image of me see now he has an image of you he has an image of you as his temple imagine that according to the word whose temple are you mm -hmm. the Holy Ghost his image of you is that you are his temple whose temple the Holy Ghost who is God are you getting this mm -hmm. his image of you becomes one of oh she's a Holy Ghost worshiper are you see you seeing this his image of you is that you worship God you're a Holy Ghost worshiper what should a temple do 
worship, worship God a different viewpoint here his image of you is prosperous is the temple of God prosperous yeah. oh crazy prosperous his his image of you is healed his image of you is your youth renewed these are things he does he just does them if he would just walk around and, and things fell out of his pockets, what would fall out of his pockets? Youth renewal, mm -hmm. prosperity, healing. Mm -hmm. Are you here? It's just things he has and does. What's his answer to all of his promises? Yeah. Yeah. Yes and amen. That's his image of you. So when he's looking at you, he's looking at that. God is very visual. Do you have an imagination? you are created in his likeness mm -hmm. he has an imagination he thinks he has a mind you'd wonder some people do they even have a mind I don't know mm -hmm. we're trying to know God and understand him mm -hmm. how he does things Genesis chapter 1 let's read verse 27 and so God created man in his own image in the image of God created he him male and female created he them that God wasn't just stuttering here and trying to say things twice just to get his point across God created man in his own imagination first in his mind think about this you would have to just go crosswise with everything you actually know to say that he didn't do it that way God had to think about it first say think about it think about where did he think about it in his mind, in his mind. so he imagined what he wanted first and then he in the image of God created he him mm -hmm. are you here yes. let's go back up to verse 26 and God said let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion so God made man in his image first and then after their likeness God does it first in his imagination or in his mind and I know you say the word imagination and most Christians man they want to throw you right out of the church because mm -hmm. oh you can't use your imagination what if you use it for good if you weren't using it for bad all the time it would be all right mm -hmm. God sees it in his mind's eye and then calls it that way he sees it and calls it that way he frames it he thinks about it first he gets a good image of it in his mind and then he calls it that way yes. he calls it the way he sees it <laughs> say he calls it he calls the it. way he sees it. it but he saw it first well I call it the way I see it but I got to see it first Do you understand the same thing with the scriptures let's say okay the scriptures say by Jesus stripes I'm healed I've got to see myself healed first and then I call myself healed now this could go both ways because when I call myself healed I'll end up seeing myself healed but either way you got to have both of those ingredients seeing it and calling it so I call it the way I see it God sees it and calls it that way I see it and call it that way why do I do it that way because that's the way God does it in fact I do things like God does them say I do things, I do things like God does them like God does so. oh you think you're God no we were created in his likeness mm -hmm. we saw the people at the Tower of Babel remember that God said whatever they conceived whatever they could see and conceive they could accomplish right. Matthew chapter you won't have to turn there Matthew chapter 5 verse 45 says he makes his son to rise on the just and the unjust mm -hmm. it works for people because they're people That's right. whether they're just or unjust like gravity I don't care how holy you are you walk off the porch you're gonna fall mm -hmm. there's certain laws that are just built into people built into the earth and if we get in line with them God put them here mm -hmm. this is one of them if you can see it and conceive it in your heart you can have it well this works the best for us because we know God now I would like to say that this is weird but I can't because this is the way God does stuff remember we get to change well I don't like it this way it sounds weird well scripture mm -hmm. we have to change whether we think it's weird or not this is the way God built us this is the way God does things if we don't get in line where are we gonna be out of line, out of line. Oh, yeah. it's not your mind that brings it to pass this is where a lot of people miss it 
they think it's just their thinking that brings them to pass it's not your mind that brings it to pass it's your faith it's your faith that brings it to pass it's not your mind just your thinking but your vision which is in your mind is an important and necessary component of faith Abraham had to see himself as the father of many nations it's not your vision that's bringing it to pass but your vision is a necessary say necessary, necessary. component of faith Genesis 30 37 and Jacob took him rods of green poplar and of the hazel and chestnut tree and peeled you could read it that way pilled white strakes in them and made the white appear which was in the rods and he set the rods which he had pilled before the flocks in the gutters in the watering troughs when the flocks came to drink say when the flocks came to drink, when the flocks came to drink. that they should conceive when they came to drink and the flocks conceived before the rods and brought forth cattle ring straked speckled and spotted this works for cows Jacob here had a revelation of what God told him to do when the cows came to drink or the flocks came to drink he took rods pieces of wood and he made streaks in them and spots mm -hmm. and he put them in the bottom of the gutter that were filled with water mm -hmm. what happened the cows looked into it when they were drinking mm -hmm. what did they see they saw themselves having spots and stripes that's right say they saw themselves they saw themselves having spots and stripes and when they conceived what did they bring forth spots and stripes, spots and stripes. Mm -hmm. if you can see it and conceive it you can have it it's god's method you got to see it first when they came to drink they conceived when they came to drink they saw themselves differently than what they actually were at the time mm -hmm. and then they became different you say well, well what does this have to do with you know with be, being in the Holy Ghost worshiping the Holy Ghost John 7 37 in the last day the great day of the feast Jesus stood and cried saying if any man thirst let him come unto me and drink he that believes on me as the scriptures have said out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water but this spake he of the Spirit which they that believe on him should receive for the Holy Ghost was not yet given because that Jesus was not yet glorified so what were the people supposed to be drinking drinking of the Spirit he said specifically the Holy Ghost when the cattle came to drink they conceived they had a different image put in front of them when you come to drink drink in the Holy Ghost partake of the Holy Ghost you have a different image put in put in front of you mm -hmm. God puts that different image in front of you to change you are you here yes. and whatever you conceive you can accomplish John chapter 16 verse 13 how be it when he the spirit of truth is come notice Jesus calls him a he mm -hmm. how be it when he the spirit of truth is come he will guide you into all the truth he shall not speak of himself but whatsoever he shall hear that shall he speak he will show you things to come did your Bible say this mm -hmm. yes. what will the Holy Ghost do he will show you things to come mm -hmm. what things to come are just events you know wars and rumors of wars no he's gonna show you things that are to come for you are you here yes. what are things that are to come wouldn't that be the future what is tomorrow by the way future. the future he's gonna show you in the future one of the things the Holy Ghost is gonna do is show you an image of you in the future he will show you the future you say the future me, the future me. where are you going tomorrow well, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go to the store now where are you gonna go tomorrow you're gonna go to the future tomorrow yes. what are you gonna be tomorrow if you're in that room and the Holy Ghost is showing you you from the future I'm you from the future are you healed in the future yes. are you more prosperous in the future yes. 
are you younger in the future yes, yes if your youth is renewed he's gonna show you things to come we must change to become what we are in the future how does God change people we're going full circle here how does he change he's got to get you to have that image first he will show you say show you, show you. what is showing is that a visual thing yes. showing is a visual thing the, so one of the things that the Holy Ghost is gonna do especially when you're in that room where you're worshiping him you're with him he's gonna start to reveal show in your vision you from the future yeah. the future you and you're younger you're even more attractive you're wealthier are you here because he's got to have you have that image first this is he's not gonna go crosswise with his laws that he put in here and it's one of the things trying to get you here it's one of the things he's going to do and he's not just gonna go in he's you're not gonna enter that room and he just begins showing you a bunch of stuff about everybody else so you can go and be some busybody busybody he's gonna show you things to come for you and the things to come are you in the future better so if I'm worshiping the Holy Ghost what do we know from the scriptures especially in John chapter 16 verse 13 that he's gonna do he's gonna show you things to come yeah. you mm -hmm. and what are the things to come that's the future that's the future you that's for you mm -hmm. say it's for, me. it's for me this is part of your relationship that you have with him in that room the Holy Ghost is from the future can you understand that mm -hmm he's from the future and he's trying to get you to go with him there because in the future you're healed in the future your youth is renewed in the future you're more prosperous than you are now right. where is he he's in the future he's trying to get you to come there anything that's not manifest yet from all the promises of God where are they manifest in the future if they're not manifest now if they're not manifest now they have to be manifest in the future yeah. sometimes it takes time to develop these things because it these concepts seem so foreign you know why they're so foreign because you haven't been in the room worshiping him enough you get in that room what's he going to show you things to come Amen. Mm -hmm. what are things to come the future's things to come yeah. he will show you he will show you things to come that's the future mm -hmm. holy ghost if I go into a room with the Holy Ghost in the room what's one of the things he's gonna do show me things that are to come yes. Holy Ghost second Corinthians chapter 3 let's look at verse 16 nevertheless when it shall turn to the Lord the veil shall be taken away yeah. right yeah. that we talked about the veil when you take away a veil what does that enable you to do see you're able to see something you weren't able to see before because the veil was taken away when it shall turn to the Lord the veil shall be taken away now the Lord is that spirit when the veils taken away and I'm telling you if you worship the Holy Ghost you use the words I worship you Holy Ghost the veil a veil will be taken away to where you will see that the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today mm -hmm. that's a veil not taken away for a lot of people they're living behind a, that veil that's taken away now the Lord is that spirit where the Spirit of the Lord is there is Liberty now would that Liberty be healing yeah. Would that Liberty be prosperity yeah. Would that Liberty be, be youth renewal yeah. Would that Liberty be you in the future yes. yes behind that veil with the Spirit of the Lord there is Liberty but we all with open face beholding as in a glass or a mirror mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the glory of the Lord are changed into the same image say image, image. what are you changed into the future. the future but you're changed into the image that he has for you but the but the fact is you're changed into an image yeah. is this in your Bible mm -hmm. what are you changed into does this sound like heresy maybe but it's not 
that's what I said I wanted to say I want to say this sounds weird but it's not weird it's how God does things what is God going to change you into an image that he has for you let's say I'm the Holy Ghost I'm not the Holy Ghost you understand that but if I'm the Holy Ghost and I do things a certain way I have to have the image first and then I'm gonna say them when you come into my presence I'm gonna have an image for you that you have to have first and be changed into That's right. we all with open face beholding as in a glass the glory of the Lord the Lord who the Holy, the Holy Ghost are changed into the same image that he has for you from one glory to the next glory even is by the Spirit of the Lord the fact is you're changed into the image he has for you what if you don't have the image you can't be changed what if you have the veil and can't see the image you can't be changed could I possibly be changed into the temple of the Living God the Holy Ghost and see myself at the way he sees me if I don't have that veil removed no. no so in this room he shows you the things that are to come we're changed into that image where are you changed into that image when you're here worshiping him the glory of the Lord I find it funny he says you know we all behold as in a glass this word actually is translated worship in other places in the Bible through worshiping the Lord looking into that mirror we're changed into that image it's how he does things what do you mean it's how he does things even as by the Spirit of the Lord who are we talking about who are we learning who are we understanding who are we knowing the Spirit of the Lord we're changed into an image even as by the Spirit of the Lord so in that room of worshiping the Holy Ghost using the words I worship you Holy Ghost is an image you got a problem with that yep. so in that room is an image an image that you are to be changed into but you're changed into an image if you don't worship the Holy Ghost the veil can't be taken away and you can't see the image which means you can't be changed if you don't go there you can't be changed so what's the solution go there be changed worship the Holy Ghost let him show you things to come let him reveal that image to you so you can be changed into it mm -hmm. are you here yes. now I love this space with the Holy Ghost in fact I've been dragging my feet I don't want to really talk about it you ever have things that are precious to you that you know you just wish that God would just shh, tell them about that this is my thing mm -hmm. I love this space with the Holy Ghost because I go I get in his presence and he begins to show me things to come not about everybody else so I can gossip about it be some super spiritual whoo mm -hmm. nobody's showing me the future mm -hmm. and I like it there you can almost get addicted to it you're in his presence and you're seeing oh and he's showing you what things are gonna happen I've been there for years it's a great place to be and what's happening to me when I'm in there according to the word I'm being changed mm -hmm. it's my job to be in there and to worship him but he's gonna show me and then he changes me say his image of me, his his image image of me. the way he sees you the way he wants you to be he has one you understand mm -hmm. how's he gonna get you to become that he has to show it to you you have to see it first if you don't go in that room you can't see it I used to develop my own photos you ever hear of the dark room a lot of people be like dark room what is that that sounds bad no it you'd you'd, you'd shoot your film then you go and you'd have to develop it in chemicals in the dark you understand yes. you'd, you'd expose your negatives a certain amount of time if you expose it too much it come out too black if you expose it too little it would just come out too you know <laughs> what am I doing I'm exposing the paper to an image it's the same way you got it takes time it takes time to be in God's presence for him to expose you to that image and the more you're in there the more you're exposed to that image and what happens you're changed into what that image just like the cows 
say I'm just like the cows <laughs> right you're being exposed while you're in the present you're conceiving the future in his presence developing over time we do the beholding we get in the present we do the beholding he does the changing he changes you I testify to the fact that this is how it happens you like this at all yes. using your mind is not witchcraft it's called using your mind for what God made it for do you understand yes. right. we're talking about going into a room with the Holy Ghost and having him develop his image of you the image that he has for you having him develop that in you are you here mm -hmm. so we see we've seen that God the Holy Ghost even as by the Spirit of the Lord he changes us into an image mm -hmm. the image is first and then he changes us into that image so again it's the same principle remember in the book of Genesis God had an image and he made God and made man in that image then we hear in the New Testament with the Holy Ghost same God by the way he has an image that he wants you to be and then he has you change into it That's right. are you here yes. Romans chapter 8 let's look at verse 18 for I reckon that the sufferings of this present time where's the present time well that's right now are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us shall be is when mm -hmm. the future God's gonna reveal a glory in you what the other verse say we're changed from glory to glory by the Spirit of the Lord via an image right yes. here it says not compared with the glory which shall be revealed in you How's he going to reveal it first? Via an image. Mm -hmm. You seeing yourself with it first. Yes. Verse 19. But the earnest expectation of the creature or the creation waits for the what? Manifestation. Manifestation of the sons of God. When it says creature here, it literally means creation. Mm -hmm. It means all of the earth, all of creation is waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God. How are the sons of God ever going to manifest in the earth? What has to happen first? They have to have that image first. Okay. They have to be in that room long enough to have that image imprinted on them so that when they come out, are you here? Because the creature or creation itself also shall be delivered from the bondage of corruption into the glorious liberty of the children of God how is creation gonna get delivered through the glorious liberty of you so you have to receive the glorious liberty first Do you understand Yes. creation itself shall be delivered into the glorious liberty of the children of God is this a verse of scripture yeah. is this God's image of you yeah, yeah. yeah. are you seeing it yet how many times I could go can you see it do you see it mm -hmm. can you imagine all of the things that you know about today and the other messages how difficult it has been for the Holy Ghost to get anything across to people mm -hmm. if they're unwilling to use their mind or their imagination can you imagine when this is how God does things we need to get it in line mm -hmm. well what if your imagination is bad we'll clean it up clean it up mm -hmm. look at here Romans chapter 12 verse 1 I beseech you therefore brethren by the mercies of God say God have mercy, God have mercy. right mercies of God that you present your bodies a living sacrifice holy acceptable unto God which is your reasonable service and I brought this out a multitude of times reasonable service can also be and is translated spiritual worship mm -hmm. so we're talking about worshiping God say we're talking about, we're talking about worshiping, worshiping God. God and we know who he is right and that's your reasonable service or spiritual worship verse 2 and be not conformed to this world but be ye transformed mm -hmm. by what renewing. the renewing of your mind you're gonna use your mind or not 
yes you have to have it renewed how is it renewed it's renewed by the word but when you're renewed when you're in his presence he begins to show you things to come he renews your mind is your mind renewed in the future yes, yes. say i'm smarter in the future I'm smarter. is it god's vision for you yes we are transformed the words that we get our, the word metamorphosis from we're transformed into something else are you here we're transformed into something else by the use of our mind being renewed by who even as by the Spirit of the Lord from glory to glory mm -hmm. are you getting this yes. that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God remember we started out saying we're gonna go on to perfection yes. we can't go on to perfection with leaving our mind out of it we must have the Holy Ghost renewing our mind we must be renewed in the image that he has for us and as we step into that image we'll be changed from one glory to the next glory to the next glory even as by the Spirit of the Lord